guys. Happy Monday. Okay, so for writing today and this week, we are going to be writing an essay. Now, this is another practice. So we're going to practice the skills we've been working the past three weeks, okay? So we're going to apply them all this week. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to take this expository uh, writing prompt, okay? And this is going to look... Um, this is going to look very similar in a week when those of you who are taking it take the writing star. So make sure you watch or read closely everything on the prompt, okay? Because if you don't read the prompt carefully, you are not going to do well. Only because you're not going to understand what you're supposed to write. So let's get into it. Let's break it down. Read the information in the box below. I can do that. Step one. Family and friends are very important in our lives. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so uh, let's move on. Think about a family member or friend that is special to you. Okay, right here, this is our brainstorming time. So what I did was uh, I took my paper, and you don't have to write the top two. I wrote the uh, think about, which is part of the part of the prompt, and then I wrote the write about. So what I'm what I'm doing with my scratch piece of paper, just like you'll have, is I'm going to draw my brainstorm circle. I like to do a circle. You can do it a little different if you wish. Circles just work for me. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write several people that I I think about, uh, you know, a family member or friend. I'm gonna write down several that I can think about. So like my mom would be one. Um, let's see. My wife would be another. Let's see. Oh, my friend CJ. Yeah. My dad. Hmm. Who else? Let's see. Oh, Mr. Morales. Okay. So, and you can put more if you want, but I'm putting some of the most important on here. Okay. And now, now that I've thought about it, let's go to write. Write about your family member or friend. Oh, okay. So we're going to choose one, right? One that is special to us. So already we kind of know the central idea is going to be this one friend who is special to us, one friend or family member, okay? So write about one friend or family member. Describe your relationship with them and explain what makes it special. All right, I can do this. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we follow the instructions of the prompt, right? So we're going to write about one family member. Are we going to write about our whole family? No. Are we going to write about all of our friends? No. Write about your family member or friend. Singular. That means you're choosing one. So I'm going to go to my circle. I'm going to look at all the people that I wrote down. I'm going to choose one. Okay. I'm going to choose to write about, hmm, special to me. My mom. She's real special. I love her. Okay. So <clears throat> write about one family member or friend. So who are we writing about? We're going to write about mom. Okay. Already. Um, and then. Our job is to describe our relationship, okay, uh, with them and explain what makes it special, okay? So your whole paper has to not only describe your relationship with your character or with your character, goodness, see, Mr. Herring's weird, okay? Not only does your paper have to describe the relationship with your person, but you also have to explain what makes them special. So what you could do is you could spend a whole paragraph writing about your relationship with them. And you could spend two paragraphs writing about different uh, ways that it's special or how it's special. Because you have to explain why it's special, right? So now that we've made it this far, we've chosen who we're going to write about. How do I... How do I organize my thoughts? Oh, boom. Hey, look at this. So you can choose to do this on this uh, graphic organizer I've provided, 
or you can make your own and then shoot me a picture. So remember when we made one a few weeks ago, you can use that one too. Just send me a picture of what you do today. So we're going to start a rough draft after a brainstorming today. Now, we need to figure out what our topic sentence is going to be, our introduction, right? And uh, what do we do when we uh, when we brainstorm, or uh, not brainstorm, I'm sorry, when we uh, use our graphic organizer? Are we writing just complete sentences in all of these? No, not really. You can put down your topic sentence, and then you can put down your conclusion when you get there um concluding topic sentence but uh remember your introduction we can really list what we're going to talk about and your introduction needs to include your three main topics or details that you're going to write about right so we have our detail one detail two detail three and our conclusion so make sure you have three details Remember, those details need to support back in, and they have to do the job of describing the relationship and explaining what makes it special. I would take your pen or pencil, you're going to have pencil, and write down uh, describe relationship, okay? So we're going to describe, we're going to tell, and then we're going to explain. What makes it special? Okay, so notice I wrote that down on my brainstorming paper, right? Because I need to keep that in my noggin the entire time. All the details I put down have to tie back to answering this part of the prompt. All right, so your introduction can introduce your person and then your details. And then your details, you need to fill out kind of what you're going to write about. So, for example, if I'm, I'm writing about my mom, right? So, uh, let's see. And we'll save the hooks for tomorrow. Um, right now, we're just kind of getting that topic sentence, right? Um, my mom is the, let's see. Um, is the most, is the, uh, ooh, how do we say that, guys? Hmm. Oh, that's a good one. My mom is so, no, hmm. Oh, you know what? We, I am going to use a hook. Um, let's see. Did you know that my mom is awesome? Boom. Got my topic sentence. So I'm introducing that my mom's awesome, right? She is the most special person in my life. Okay, boom. Right there. So I have a hook and I have a topic sentence. You don't have to do the hook today, like I said. Um, so this is kind of what I'm going to go. So now I need to think of my three details. Um, so how could I describe our relationship? Well, um, I could put a little, little dash here and say, um, see, we like the same things. Okay. And then what are two details that could potentially help me explain the relationship? Or explain what makes it special. She is always there for me. Okay. And she is the most caring person I know. Okay. Right there. So I have three details. And then I am going to build upon those in detail one, two, and three. So my first detail, I'm going to focus on explaining or describing our relationship and we and kind of like my main topic is we like the same things. So we do a lot of we'll share uh, text messages about football. 
we'll watch similar movies, um, and we both like the same types of foods. Oh, right there, I just... Oh, I just got the, the details for my detail one. Oh, see? See how easy it is? Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I get bored on Zoom, so please join me. I'll help you uh, create it. This is a long video. Have a great day. High five. <laughs>